This Jeep right here behind me might be one of the coolest ones I've seen here at Overland Expo West. <laughs> Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and today guys, on this episode, we are taking a look at a very cool Overland built Jeep. This is a custom built Jeep by AEV, it's called the Outpost 2. We're gonna meet with the president of the company and he's gonna give us a full tour. Let's roll right into that. Hey guys, I'm here with Dave from AEV, and Dave, I gotta tell you man, this Outpost 2 behind us here, not only my favorite Jeep of the Expo, but probably my overall favorite vehicle. It is so cool. Tell us about it a little bit. Thanks. Well, uh, it was something we just did. Kind of, we did it for the SEMA show. Uh, it was the last year of the JK. We wanted to do something kind of bigger. Um, and I had been working on my own camper ideas for a while, and I was like, you know what, let's do this, and I'll experiment with it. So this is just a concept. Just me experimenting. Um, it came out really good. I mean, yeah, people really, the reaction's been awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a lot of little details of, you know, stuff I've been, basically I learned about a thousand ways I would not do it again. <laughs> right. Um, so I, I learned a lot in the process and uh, a lot of people keep asking me if it has legs and I think it does, but we'll just have to see where it goes. Okay. Now, what was the inspiration for doing this? Well, I mean, this is not really a new idea. The guys right. in Europe have been doing this with Land Rovers and Mercedes G-Wagons um, for years. And I've always liked those vehicles. And, you know, I just thought, you know what, I could do that on a Jeep and I could do it really well. Yeah. And um, so this is the result. I think it's very cool. What are some of the specs, like the suspension and stuff? What kind of stuff have you done to it? So suspensions are four and a half inch um, dual sport kit with okay. the only difference being our new high capacity springs that we just came out with. Right. And that was the other point for building this truck was we wanted to show our new high capacity springs. They're really set up for JKs that are in the 6,000 pound plus range, yeah. you know, with a rooftop tent, fridge, you know, tools. So that was one of the reasons we did this. So other than that, it's a 5.7 Hemi, okay. um, the A580 Trans, it's a Rubicon, yeah. uh, Dynatrack Dana 44, yeah. the big brakes, uh, Dynatrack Dana 60, um, low pinion but high clearance, it's their brand new axle okay. in the rear. Uh, 48 gears, which I'll probably switch, they're a little low. All right. Um, so that's about it for powertrain. Um, the frame mods, we took our brute rear extension from our brute double cab, yep. and we, we put that on the back. So the wheelbase is the same, it just has the extension on the back. Gotcha. So overall, it's roughly about 11 inches longer than a four-door Wrangler. Okay. Um, in a way, if you count the tire, um, it's about 11 inches longer. Overall, it's about 27 inches longer than a regular Wrangler. Okay. Um, but effectively, it's only 11 inches longer. Right. Uh, the spare tire went underneath. Yep. So that's uh, nice. It's got a gasoline powered heater. Okay. Uh, so it just pulls right off the fuel tank. Nice. Um, it's got a water heater. Okay. It's similar to what a boat would have. Yep. So it runs off the engine, stays hot for about 24 hours. Um, other than that, I guess uh, the rest of it's a lot of AEV equipment, you know, bumper, snorkel, yeah. um, that kind of stuff, hood. Yeah. Um, now the interior of the camper, you, man, you guys have designed that really well. I like how the upholstery is kind of, it matches the Jeep upholstery. How many folks can you sleep in there and what else kind of you got inside? Well, this is a work in progress. Okay. So originally the roof went, or the bed was up in the roof and it folded down when you used it. And I took that out because I really liked the fact that I could sit up and work in there yeah. while the roof was down. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm redoing the bed and it's actually going to pop out the side okay. uh, when the roof is up. So that's, it'll, but it will sleep too. Um, and then it has the full couch, which yeah. you can sleep on. It's 80 inches long. Yeah. Um, and then it has a small kitchen inside and it's really set up for cooking outside. And right. I can show you how the fridge and everything's kind of set up for inside or outside access and the pantry, same way. Nice. Um, I'll show you those details when we walk around it. All right, cool. Well, let's go take a closer look inside. Okay. So this is the inside. Um, it's not quite complete, but we're working on it. We're going to change a lot of things. Uh, that's kind of how these things go. They're a work in process. Uh, lots of storage underneath the uh, storage, uh, gasoline powered heater, uh, 22 gallons of fresh water. There's more storage up front. There's uh, two house batteries, a uh, hot water tank solar charge controller. There's 265 watts of solar up on the roof. Um, battery charger, a couple other things, water pump. Um, we're getting a sink to go in here. I just got to make it. I wasn't happy with what I could find. Um, 
and then this wall is coming out and the bed's going to go out there oh nice so eventually this will be a double bed your kitchen and your couch with a work area very cool so yeah. yeah, I'm six two, and there is a ton of headroom in here. This yeah. is really, really nice. I actually designed this to go up even higher, and then I realized quickly it wasn't necessary. Um, yeah, so I'm six foot even, and yeah, I have plenty of room. Nice man. I got to tell you, I love the craftsmanship in here. Very well so, done. And it's pretty awesome. Like if you sit down in here, um, you know, you can have easily four guys in here, yeah. and you realize wait a second i'm still in the back of a wrangler right like we were in here last night it was freezing cold outside the heater was on and it was just like we're just hanging out yeah. drinking beers in here this is perfect this is awesome uh screen door keep the bugs out there you go um, all screen windows um, kind of set this up as a three season camper with you know kind of like three four five days yeah in mind nice Hey, thanks for showing me the interior, man. That's awesome. I noticed when we were walking around, you're running the new Cam 3s. How do you like those? Right. So yeah, we were lucky enough to have, be running some pre-production sets. Um, I just got mine, so I love them. I drove them down from Montana. They're yeah. way quieter than the old Cam 2. Um, big difference. I know one of our guys has been driving around for over a year. Nice. And uh, he loves them. Okay. Uh, he went through the Detroit winter with them and says they're awesome. So nice. Looking forward to driving those more. Yeah. Um, they're mounted on our new Bora wheel, which okay. is a beadlock wheel and a non-beadlock you can run it either way nice which is nice um, even if you're just out and if you're running it as a beadlock and you need service somewhere in the middle of nowhere and tire shop's not willing to work on it you can revert to a non-beadlock oh. so it's kind of a nice safety feature for this crowd that's nice yeah and um nice looking wheel cool and you got these stabilizers back here tell us about those real quick yeah so because it's a camper we decided to put the stabilizers on i have one down and one up okay um, just to kind of show how they tuck up and you can't even see them yeah it's nice but it just stabilizes and it also allows you to level the camper a little bit awesome well dave this is such a cool build man thanks for taking the time to talk to me Absolutely. and showing us i appreciate it you bet thank you what an awesome built Jeep, such a cool concept. I really think it's pretty awesome. Now, I am doing a lot of filming while I'm out here at Overland Expo West, and so if you wanna see more vehicles, I will leave a link in the description. Go check those videos out. And if you're visiting Trail Recon for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. Thanks for watching.